Hi, welcome to the last installment of this limited series, Christmas Vacation. We're looking at the movie Christmas Vacation, thinking about Christmas things, God, and how all of it fits together in our celebration of Christmas. It's an important topic, um, set against the backdrop of this classic film starring Chevy Chase. Um, when you look at Christmas Vacation, there's always a thought when you're done as to what else happened. What else could have happened to the Griswolds in this Christmas story that didn't make it to the screen? It is that thinking, wishing, hoping, were there some scenes that just weren't included? Did they film some other stuff that we just don't get to see? Are there added extras that they could put on a Blu-ray disc somewhere behind the scenes that we could look at? Or was this all there is? Well, the truth is, there were other scenes. The other scenes that were cut out of the final copy to make it fit the right length because it didn't fit, it bogged the story down, um, and it just didn't make the story better. Now remember, we're starting this whole conversation by talking about a Christmas classic. And so our assumption has to be what's there works. It's what's needed. That's why we're talking about the film. That's why it's endured in popularity. What was missing? Well, there was a scene or two that was written about um, Cousin Eddie living in the RV in Clark's driveway. Those scenes didn't make the final copy. Were they rude and crude and funny? Well, some people thought so, some people didn't, and as a result, they were left out. Um, at the end of the story, when Santa Claus and the reindeer go rocketing off into the nighttime sky and they cut across the moon and that, that kind of wrap up to the film and Clark then looks toward the sky after the national anthem's been sung, and he says, I did it, I did it. What's missing is that Santa and the reindeer were supposed to have landed, but they were supposed to have landed through the roof of Clark Griswold's neighbor, who, of course, had been at war with the Griswolds all the way through, Margot and Todd, you remember them. And Santa and the reindeer were going to come crashing through their roof, ruining their Christmas celebration once again, and they just decided that it was just too much. They'd picked on them enough, and it was good. There was a scene that was supposed to be that heartwarming, tender moment between Clark Griswold and his son, Rusty. Rusty. If you think about it, the Christmas Vacation movies, in every film, or the Vacation movies, every film, there's a moment between Clark and his son that becomes, in some ways, an emotional um, centerpiece or an anchor point for the film. As they were getting ready to make the film, young Johnny Galecki, the actor who's playing Russ, basically said, well, in looking at it, you know, we've seen a couple versions, and the scene with uh, Clark Griswold and his son is cut out of most of the versions that we need to shoot. If a lot of people think it's just going to fit, let's just leave it out. And so, as a child, he makes his own cut, basically, of the movie. As they stepped off the set, Chevy Chase put his arm around young Johnny Galecki as they're walking away and said, well, I just want you to know you just talked yourselves out of a movie scene in a John Hughes film that probably would have made you famous, young man. Ultimately, we know that Johnny Galecki makes it as an actor. He goes on to become um, a star of a series that ran for a number of years on TV, very popular, uh, The Big Bang Theory. Um, but he basically talked himself out of a scene um, that ended up never being recorded or filmed for the motion picture. There's a lot that's not there. But what is there is what we need for a holiday classic. I have a lot of questions about the Christmas story. There's a lot of things when I read that first story of Christmas in the Bible and I have a, just a ton of questions that keep coming up. Like, what about this? And how did this happen? And who was this? And what did this happen? And give me the sequence here. And, what were they really thinking? I, I love a lot of the details that probably this side of heaven I'll never get. Heck, I don't know if I'm going to get them on that side of heaven either. I'm not sure if God's going to give me those answers, but they're things I'm curious about. But here's what I know. We have what we need. We have what we need to know about that first Christmas. And that first Christmas gives us enough to celebrate all year round. It is my hope that Christmas really is a vacation for you. Not just a film, but really a vacation. It gives you an opportunity to take a break from this thing called life and remember what's really important and remember that Jesus has come 
that the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us, that Emmanuel has come, God is with us. And away in that manger on that first Christmas morning, Jesus splits history, enters time and space, and becomes man so that he became a baby born to die for your sins and mine. We have enough. We have what we need to know. And so I hope you've enjoyed this look behind the scenes at Christmas Vacation, and I hope that this year Christmas is a vacation for you.